Hey guys, so I wanted to give you another update on where I stand with medical assisting. So, as you guys know, February 26th, I completed my medical assisting program. I also took my NHA exam on that day, and I found out March 15th that I passed my NHA certification exam for CCMA. And this entire time, I have been waiting for externship placement because right before the end of my program, my school decided to change the way that they are doing externships. So what that means is instead of doing externships with, you know, like your actual class group or whoever, um, is ready to do the externship at that time. Now they have it happening on a first come first served basis and they highly limited the amount of students that they're taking per externship. Like for example, the last externship that they had open, they were only taking 10 students and it was first come first served. And I literally, as soon as I saw the email, it had been sent like maybe 35 minutes prior to me reading it. And by the time I... <laughs> Tucker, shut up. By the time I responded, we're talking like maybe 40 minutes time from the time they typed out the email and sent it to me responding to them, they had already filled up all those 10 spots. And I think it really sucks because like I started my program in November of 2020 and um, the day that I'm filming this is the week before Easter. And um, I still have not gotten an externship site. I'm to the point where I feel like I'm going to have to start reaching out to different facilities to see if someone will accept me to do an externship at their site, like try to reach out and get my own externship site, but then I don't know if they will allow that since I'm technically not attached to a school anymore. Some people have been saying that I can't actually work as a medical assistant without an externship, but due to COVID, there's so many medical assistant programs that aren't even doing externships right now, just because like doctor's offices, hospitals, etc., a lot of them have stopped allowing like clinicals for nursing school or externships for, you know, medical assistance or externships for phlebotomy, stuff like that. So I just like, I can't say that it's because of that. I just wish that people would be a little bit more understanding. Like I've had multiple job interviews. I have been getting callbacks and stuff for like job interviews after applying, but I'm not getting anywhere with it. I've applied at like urgent cares. I've applied at family medicine. I've applied at allergy all over the place. Basically anything I see that, um, isn't significant amount of driving involved for me, I have applied at. And I've even applied at like places as close as a 45 minute commute. Um, because sometimes you just have to expand your radius a little bit to be able to find something. And I get that a lot of people, want someone who they don't necessarily have to spend a lot of time to train, but it's just frustrating that like, I'm not finding anything. I'm not really getting help from my school as far as an externship goes, because like I said, they're doing it on a first come first serve basis now. And so that makes things harder because there was a lot of us, like my medical assistant class itself. And this is just one class. They were starting classes like every few weeks or so, and I believe they still are, um, because it's being paid for through the um, workforce or work ready grant. Um, most, like I would say 99% of the students at their school are getting this grant to pay for their education. So they have a lot of applicants and they're taking on a lot of different classes at the same time. So with that many students, like my class was over 70 people starting out. They had to end up splitting us into multiple different classes because over Zoom, we would take up like the first 30, 45 minutes. 
just for people asking questions because there was so many people who had questions. And um, I believe I talked about that in a couple of my videos. I'm just a little bit frustrated because like I really want to get started in my career and I feel like the not having the externship as in my experience is screwing me up and I do have healthcare experience I have five years of experience as a CNA I've had my phlebotomy certificate for two years I just recertified um, well renewed my certification so that it goes like both of my certifications are now good until 2023 so it's not like I don't have certifications it's not like I don't have the training it's just like there's no externship spaces for me right now and my school has not really been communicating with me ever since I took this certification exam I've reached out to them multiple times and it's kind of like radio silence so it's really frustrating and I don't know if you're a medical assistant or even a nursing student what would you advise me to do because like I said I obviously need the externship experience for a lot of these jobs to um, accept me but at the same time like my school is not helping me how would you go about reaching out to these companies or facilities or hospitals etc to ask them if you can do an externship there like or should I just keep applying for medical assistant jobs and hoping that something works out I don't know I have at least three interviews coming up this week one is a hospice CNA job um, going to different facilities and different houses not it's not like in a hospice unit um, if that makes sense and you get paid per visit and then um, I have one that's like a DSP for um, people with intellectual disabilities and then I have one job I think it's on Wednesday the job interview and it's for a chronic care manager job um, which that position specifically they want you to have either your CNA or your medical assistant certification and I have both so hopefully one of these will work out for me um, so I guess we'll see but I just wanted to give you guys that little update please keep thinking positively and I will talk to you guys again in my next video.